I was surprised. I didn't expect it to get this high. My garage is full of water already. This shouldn't be this, this bad. Tropical Storm Lee provided a raucous wake up call this morning, catching Slidell residents off guard. Normally, normally we don't ever get this on something this little. I've never seen this much water, water began back here. rising in multiple locations around Slidell as Tropical Storm Lee and tidal surges began swamping some neighborhoods with as much as three feet of water. And it came up so fast. I knew a little water was going to come, but not this much. We didn't expect it to come this fast, but it did. <laughs> At the Palm Lake subdivision, rescuers needed a high water vehicle to respond to a near drowning of an 18 month old baby boy. Uh, we are getting reports that the child is breathing. We'll call it a near drowning is what we are being told. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. Though he was responsive, paramedics rushed the boy to a nearby hospital. So that's you know very, very cautious that they go get checked out, make sure the lungs are clear. Others in the neighborhood used whatever means necessary to try and get out including walking out through the waters. I, I had to go back to my house and just make sure everything was all right and grab my dog. And, well, now I'm heading, heading over to the in-laws. It's not just the high water that worries people who live in this subdivision. It's also the potential dangers that may be lurking in this rising water. When I came home this morning, the water was to my thighs. And that was a, a scare because I've seen alligators and all that in the backyard. Potential hazards in the water, which officials say could end up sticking around for several more days. In Slidell, Maya Rodriguez, Channel 4 Eyewitness News.